Hi, I got lonely, so I did have my heat up kind of high, so I got lonely, so I turned the camera back on. Who's my best friend? <laughs> Me. Okay, so I didn't burn it, but I think that is done. Here it is. Yeah, is it burnt? Uh, that one, I kind of like it dark like that, but yeah, I should have my, I turned my heat down. <sighs> okay, here we go. Where's the last little one? These are my little dough balls I'm going to save for tomorrow in case anybody comes and sees me. Say, so, wait, can you see my dough balls? There's one dough ball here. I have my camera backwards. There's my dough balls that I rolled out and I patted out. Now I know patty cake, patty cake bakers, man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. And I have all the ingredients for a special cake. My mom's scandalous, uh, scandalous white water, United Church of Christ, chocolate, German chocolate. <laughs> Here. Whoa. I still have my heat. I turned my heat way down. Why is it still up? I turned my heat way down. I don't know. What do I do with my chopsticks? Okay. So here's the story. I used to be a youth pastor and coordinator of the youth group at the United Church of Christ in Whitewater. And that was my first paid teaching job at the church like I actually I've worked at the church for like years but until I get kicked out of like every single church they're like you need to leave now so anyway there was a lady that she was like she always like really hated me because I was like super progressive and that church was going through a lot of they weren't happy with a female minister because she was so progressive but everything she taught was scripture but it had a little bit of she was very perfect for Whitewater and perfect for that specific church and they fired her and I was not her replacement as minister but like she made sure that there was somebody put in charge of the oh gosh yeah anyway there was a lady there and she never liked me she was one of like the main church ladies like in this church had like really really mean church ladies and she was going to have a um, here, let me look at them. There, my heat's a little bit, like, more appropriate there. Do you see? So it's still, like, gently frying, but it's not, like, freaking out, like, bubbling like that. Okay, there. That's more like it. See? A gentle heat. You see? Okay, so this lady always, like, challenged everything that I did, and I remember I used to bake casseroles. We'd have, like, a the youth group would have a potluck like on every Wednesday and I remember like this lady and like her friends I bring a casserole and I had to walk because like I couldn't drive because I had like a, a drunk driving or whatever so I'd always have to like I'd make a casserole with my own money and I'd walk down there and I'd expect them to bake it they I swear to God they didn't like me they always made sure that my casserole was in there last so it always got put out on the table last and it was always I'm gonna cry like cold in the middle I swear to God that they did this like every single freaking time and all the people knew especially the men they especially knew but anyway it was just being mean so this lady was going to have an art show with all of her art like she did paintings and stuff and she said we're having a potluck in honor of my art show but nobody bring any desserts because if because there's going to be desserts at my art show and like okay go to a freaking potluck for any church protestant catholic any synagogue whatever like mosque whatever you're not bringing the sweets are you serious so that would happen to be epiphany of that year I think it was 2010 epiphany of 2010 january 2010 it was like saint john the baptist was like the whole freaking thing if you've ever been to the united church of christ in whitewater you know it's like just all decked out with like stained glass windows like floor de lis like so freaking awesome it was such an honor to work there with the people that i worked with but this lady ah she said no sweets and you know all the guys are like because not everybody was going to go to her art thing but anyway so my mom and dad decided to come to see me, like, 
because I was teaching and I was so proud and they were so proud of me because I was having like a really difficult time because my boyfriend at the time was a heroin addict and he unfortunately beat me like every single day like severely and there wasn't a day that I didn't go to yoga class. You weren't supposed to wear like A-line t-shirts to yoga class. I did anyway. I know it was in the handbook but I never noticed it until I got to yoga class and it was like it's like a dance studio, yoga studio in Whitewater. If you've ever taken yoga in Whitewater like you know the studio that I'm talking about. Until I got there I didn't notice but like all down my arms and like on my face and like on my neck and like on my back was all just like black and blue and I didn't even know. And like I walked in, everybody's like, oh my God. And like, I'm like, what? Like I didn't know that I was covered like from head to toe, like black and blue. But nobody like called the cops or anything that time. But yeah, like uh, my mom came and she brought this cake. I'm gonna call it the Jake cake because when I see Jake, it's gonna be the cake that I make. It's legendary status. It's the scandalous United Church of Christ cake that wasn't supposed to be there. The only cake that was at the frickin' potluck because my mom was like, there's no way in hell that I'm going to a potluck and I'm not bringing a cake. She's like, who does this lady think she is? Well, and she was pissed, but she was so mean that everybody at the church was so terrified of what was gonna happen if somebody brought a cake. You should have seen how fast that cake went. Inside out German chocolate cake, my mom's recipe. I'm gonna call it the Jake cake from now on or the scandalous United Church of Christ. <laughs> Forbidden cake. We had so much fun. There was a little girl there and they were having like a epiphany, like they had a king's cake, you know, where like you have the little baby inside the cake. My mom went to Crazy Frank's and she didn't think that it was right that all the little kids, there's only one little kid that like gets a present. So she picked up coloring books. They were like a quarter a piece or something. She picked up coloring books for every single child to make sure that they all had something for Epiphany so that there wasn't just one kid that like got like something. The gift was a, I'm, gonna, I'm getting so choked up because I can kind of like feel my dad. My dad used to be like that. I can feel him like kind of like moving through me. He's been through me lately. Like when I was talking about the, uh, the Metatron thing when I said like treetop, you guys. Okay. There's this little girl and I taught all these kids, like the little ones too, but like I, I was in charge of the teenagers and it was like a really, <sighs> it was a great group of kids, but it's this little girl she got the baby in the cake, the king cake, and her prize was a real tiara, a real one. Like, not like from the dollar store. Like, I don't know who got, I don't know if there was like a different present if a little boy would have gotten it. Like, and like, she comes up to me and she pulls on my dress because I was dressed really pretty because my mom and dad were there. She pulls on my dress and she looks at me and she's like, I want you to wear this. And I said, no, I'm like, you won that fair and square. And she's like, no, I want you to wear it. And like everybody like saw that. And the minister guy, like he saw that. Oh, and also at the table, like there was like two big long tables. There was like the table that my mom and dad were at and that was with me. And then there was like, the minister guy who was like so cool. He reminds me of Stephen Colbert. His name was Pastor Craig. He was amazing. I think this was like the first church that was his actual church that he ever got to like be the main head minister at. There was Pastor Craig, the mean lady, and like two other like, I think old mean people. And then every other single person in the church, their parents and their kids at my mom and dad's table. And then like they... <laughs> And they pulled up chairs from the other table. So like we were like two people deep at my table. And then I saw Pastor Craig and he's like sitting there like it's like not the cool kids table. And I showed them my office. And they were like, we love Lolly so much. And like, so I put the tiara on and I'm like, well, what do you think? And she says, you are so beautiful. 
And I said, okay, well, that's enough. And I took it off and I put it on her. And then we all went outside and we did yoga. And <laughs> this is really funny. Oh, 